everyone, it's Michelle from Weekend Craft here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to convert the Epson EcoTank 2720 into a sublimation printer. So what you'll need is an EcoTank printer. I suggest the Epson 2720 or the 4700. If you see one in stock, grab it. These sell out quick. If you can't find one in stock, um, my suggestion to you is to go to target.com and set an alert for when they are back in stock. This printer will run you just around $200. And then we are going to get sublimation ink. So I'm using Hippo sublimation ink. I will link it for you. And the process here is so the Epson EcoTank printer allows you to refill it with their own ink. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be taking the ink out of these bottles, cleaning them up, replacing it with our sublimation ink, and then loading it into our printer. One disclaimer I wanna give you guys is that if you have already ran ink through your EcoTank printer, it won't work. You have to have a printer that has never been used before. So also, don't buy a refurbished EcoTank printer. You want one where ink has never been ran through it. But besides that, this is a super easy process and let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Some sublimation ink, I got this from Hippo. Some gloves, the ink that came with your Epson EcoTank and something to pour ink into. So we are gonna put on our gloves and then we are gonna remove the top from the ink. So you're just gonna give it a good twist and then you are going to want to pour it into a container. Now I'm not gonna be using this ink so I am just dumping it into this cup. And then you'll wanna put the cover back on to your ink the cover is unique to each ink color, so it's important to keep them together. So now we have them all empty and we are ready to clean them out. So you're gonna rinse them thoroughly till you get all the ink off of the top of it and everything outside. Don't use soap with this process, just use uh, warm water. Now we wait until everything dries out. You're going to unscrew the top of your sublimation ink, remove the smaller piece. You're going to insert it into the neck of the Epson um, container. You're going to let this fill up and then you're going to make sure that you put the correct corresponding top back on to the ink. And now we're ready to fill the rest of them up. This really is a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Just make sure you have something under each ink cartridge. We are ready to load the sublimation ink in. So we're gonna open this front panel. The printer is not plugged in yet. Do not plug in your printer yet. Don't set it up at all. We are going to lift up the black side and then you can see here, we are going to insert this part into the printer. There we go, it is starting to fill up. You're ready to plug your printer in and turn it on and you're going to go through all of the prompts to set up your printer. So it's checking now to make sure that the ink has been filled. So it takes, it says that this takes about 10 minutes and you'll hear the sound in the background. So when you know that you're doing it right. Okay, so we 
it's going to run you through some tests to get the print heads aligned. And I printed these out on sublimation paper and followed all the prompts that were on that screen. So I've loaded in the sublimation paper and we printed out our designs. So I am gonna trim these down and cut right around the design. This is a watercolor design, which are beautiful. And what I'm gonna use is heat resistant tape and I'm going to tape the design right to my sublimation mugs. And these are the Cricut sublimation mugs. I'm gonna do this on both sides. And then we are going to cover the mug with parchment paper. This is just so none of the ink gets on to our mug press. So the mug press is preheated, putting the mug in and setting the pressure. It'll beep once it's done. It'll be very hot, so put it on a heat resistant mat. Once it cools for about 15 minutes, you are ready to take off your tape and look at your design. I am so impressed with the quality of these mugs. I cannot wait to try shirts.